Hello everyone, welcome to Sergeant Major's Home. My channel is about barbecue, food, cooking, and of course, eating. I'm not a professional, just a regular guy with a passion for food and cooking. For those that are new to my channel, if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe, and make sure to hit that notification bell to get notified every time I drop a new video. As for those returning, thank you, and it's good to see you back again. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, as I will read and respond to them all. And now, for today's episode. Okay, everybody, welcome back to Sergeant Ready to Smoke. Today we're going to do beans. Well, actually, tomorrow or the next day. I have a bag of uh, either navy beans, doesn't matter. Usually for a meal, I usually do about half a bag. So this is two pounds, so you know, 907 grams, probably about half a bag. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse this off. I'm not gonna show you that because it's kind of boring. Rinse it off, clean some of the powder away. I had uh, one of my viewers asked for more description and why I do things. So I wanna clean the beans thoroughly and I'm gonna change the water. Let this sit overnight at least, maybe two nights. Just keep changing the water every so often, check on it, make sure it doesn't absorb all of it. If it does, I'll rinse it off and just change the water. So when we come back, I'll show you with the finished product. Okay, so here we are 24 hours later. Let's have a look, see. Okay. The beans are coming, but they're not where I want them to be yet. So I'm going to rinse them off again. And I had one of my subscribers say that they wanted a bit more detail. So anytime you're doing a dried bean or those dried soup mixes, you got to soak it. You got to find that fine line between over soaking them and not soaking them enough. If I soak it enough, I get it rehydrated enough. It'll ease the boiling time because what will happen now, I'm going to let this, I'll rinse them off. I'm going to change the water, let them sit another 24 hours and I'll boil them tomorrow morning. If I can reduce that initial boil time, so in this case when I make beans, I'm going to boil it collectively within the sauce anyway. So it's just that fine line. But I'll clean it off. Get rid of little pieces here and there. Have it soak in some more water. And then we'll do, we'll do the beans tomorrow. But I just wanted to give you that. Try to give a bit more explanation why. Uh, as, as, as was requested. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Welcome back everyone. Now it's been... 48 hours the beans were soaking. I rinsed them out, clean them off, get any particles that are still there, any skins that came off. Just make sure they're really clean. I'm going to boil them for a couple hours in a cast iron, which is why they're in here now. So like I said, I just rinse them off, remove any excess starches, any other contaminants, just anything in it. I'm just going to top this up, probably about three quarters full of water. We'll get in the barbecue. And we'll start. Bad boy started. There we go. We're on medium heat. And you're fighting the weather. It's still cool, so it's okay with your hand. When it gets hotter, I got my lifter again. Nice clean beans. Let's collect these slowly boil. Before I boil for a few hours, we'll just, you know, I'll come back 20 minutes, half an hour, see the air, give it a stir, see we're making progress. What I want to do is I want to make them soft, but not mush, because I still need to cook them within the sauce. So now I'm cooking them to make them softer, so that they're edible, because they're still pretty hard right now. Then we'll add the flavor, let it boil, let it simmer, get infused, and then we'll eat. So we'll come back and check it out. Okay everyone, so as the beans on the, on the barbecue doing their first boil, I just wanted to show you the ingredients uh, that I will be adding to make my, my sauce. Again, a chili sauce, no name, doesn't really matter, just a chili sauce. Last time I used Heinz, this time I used no name brand, doesn't matter. A tip of molasses, 
Again, I know there's a difference. To me, there's no difference. It, the end result's the same. Tomato paste, again, this happened to be no name. Got it from no frills, but it doesn't matter. Some sort of tomato paste. An onion, whatever size you have available. I usually use bacon, but I don't have any that's not frozen. So, next best thing, some frozen bacon grease. That'll be my foundation, and that's just to infuse the flavor into the onions when I'm frying them up. I'll show you all this, but just to show you what I put into the product itself, because again, it's a winter wonderland outside, and I'm not necessarily going to explain it in as much detail as I am now. But the idea is to give it a tomatoey, that, that aroma, that feel, and a little bit of sweet. Uh, you can go more tomato, less less molasses, vice versa, and it's going to change the, the outcome of the beans. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about outside about it, but really it all depends on what flavor profile you're looking for. See you back outside. So just as I was talking about earlier on, I came up to check, it's been about the hour mark-ish, the flame was out. So I probably lost at least half an hour cooking time. That's why it's important to keep an eye on it and be flexible, especially when you're cooking outside in the environment. And it's winter time, it's windy. We'll be back. Oh, I hear that wind, eh? The wind tunnel effect. I like using a wooden spoon for this kind of stuff. You can see even that added water boil down quite a bit. Nothing sticking, that's good. Hmm. They're not quite done, but they're not hard. So I'm going to turn this off, let it cool down, drain it, rinse it, clean it again, put them aside, then we'll start making the sauce. Then we'll add these beans into it, and as the whole mixture is cooking, it'll be good. We'll be back. I rinse the beans off, drain them. Got my cast back on the go. Let it get the temperature. And like I said, normally what I do is I start cooking bacon. That's uh, that's what I would do. In this case, as I said, I don't have any thawed bacon, so I'm not going to bother. But I have bacon grease, bacon fat, bacon juice, bacon love, whatever you want to call it. It's bacon. It's all good. And I'll use that as I start cutting up my onions. I want to caramelize these a bit. Just get them, get them soft before I add anything else. Oh, geez, you can smell that bacon. Fantastic. I'll fast forward through some of this stuff. Hopefully, it's not too windy. A sound wise for you guys. Oh, yeah. So I'll cook these down, then I'll add my tomato paste. Then I'll add the beans, add my chili sauce, a bit of water, and I'm on the last. I'll let them slowly simmer and cook away. That'll probably take a couple hours too. But there's no rush. Yeah, cook it outside. Makes a mess. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Coming along quite nicely. Tomato paste time. Try to get as much out of the can as you can. As much as the can as you can, of course. Again, why waste stuff? It's pretty thick. I find it really good flavor for my beans. That's why I use it. Of 
probably rinse this up with hot water too if you want to. Get it all infused with the onions. Oh yeah. I'm also going to turn this down now. Because I don't want to burn stuff. I just wanted to get those onions going. You can cut your onions as big as small as you want. It really doesn't matter. Or if you don't like them, don't add them. I just like what it does to beans. And that's the recipe that I use. So as you can see, like I said, if I take one, just soft, but not quite 100%. Oh, look at that. Add my chili sauce. Also, just really good for beans. Add some water. My tomato paste can and my chili chili sauce. So the reason I'm adding the water is I do want it to continue boil but more at a simmer. Same deal again, I don't want it to burn. So if you like tomato based beans only, you may just want to let this sit and let it slowly cook up. I'd like a little bit of sweet to it, a little bit of darkness, so I'm going to add some molasses here in a short, in a short bit. And you'll see, it, it's, it's, everything's eyeball. A can of tomato paste and a jar of chili sauce. And some molasses. We'll start with that amount. Usually, I'll get one of these, or 675 five grams probably half a liter ish a couple cups probably two cups I usually put, I put about a cup on average so as you can see and I'll, I'll get a close-up too now it's it's darkening quite a bit and really it comes down to what your flavor profile that you're looking for what what you want it's gonna let this boil you're gonna see it's gonna thicken up we're gonna have it on medium heat let that boil uncovered then I'll put the cover on stir it take the cover off stir it I will cook the, I will boil this on medium low heat with the cover off for a bit keep stirring it every so often then put the cover on and check it again and we'll just keep rotating that and I'll try the beans and see, okay are they good to go or not smell delicious and I like using a wood spoon when I'm doing this I don't know why but I just do so we'll be back okay so I've been sitting at least a half an hour cool enough to touch you can see that thickening up quite nicely a little taste test to see Oh yeah, really good flavor. I might add a little bit more molasses later. Might. Put it back on. Again, okay. that's what I'll do. I'll bring it to a boil again. And let it just cool. Bring it to a boil. Cool. And the reason I'm, I'm doing this, or the reason that I do it is, well, it works for me, but I, I don't want to break the beans down to mush. Again, I don't want to burn the bottoms. You know, use that residual heat to cast iron. Once it heats up, it's going to con continue cooking, especially when you put the lid on the Dutch oven. It's going to continue cooking for a while. So bring it to a boil. It's cooking the beans a little bit more because it just needs a little bit more. Actually, it's pretty close. Encompass it with the, the lid. And it'll cook further on as it slowly cools the environment. It's a, I don't know, which temperature? Probably... Uh, minus two, minus four Celsius, maybe I'll convert it up top here somewhere. Smells really good, really good taste. I love my beans. It's one of my favorite meals, and it's so awesome to say, make. Just bring it to a boil.
give it a good stir because I don't want it to stick to the bottom. I'm going to eat it anyway, I love them, but that's not the point. Cover it, let it continue to cook, let it cool down, let's go back half an hour or so. Oh yeah, it's sticking up quite nicely. Not burning, and the beans are still relatively whole. Have another taste test. Wow, so good, so tangy. Wow. So I think we'll go through this process again. We're almost there. Bring it to a boil. Get it nice and hot. Put the lid back on. Let it naturally cool. And they're pretty much done. I was going to do this inside, but you know, it's a bright day. I'm already out here. I'm hungry. I like to dip my beans with a bit of bread. Oh, wow. That is so good. Mm. Wow. The onion, the spiciness of the tomato paste, and the chili sauce. Wow. Never get sick of making beans. It's so easy. If I was making this inside, I'd leave it on the stove top all day. Turn the heat on, turn the heat off, stir it. Fantastic. Wow. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I don't think this will be too long a video. Until next time, Sergeant Ray Smoke, out. Well, everyone, that wraps up today's video. I hope you liked it. Episode number 19, Baked Beans. I love beans. I could eat beans every day. Really easy to try. If you've never made them, please do. And, and let me know. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. If there's something you'd like me to try on the, on the, the channel, post that down below as well. Until next time, Sergeant Mary Smoke, 